giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Just want to jump in. We kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, so I'm going to kind of change. Uh, we'll take kind of a quick break in divisions and uh, a little bit of discussions just in regards to uh, Minute Maid Park and uh, some of the things we see. And Lino, I'd love to hear more because I know you're a pro Minute Maid fan, and I think there might be some uh, <laughs> uh, uh, discussions in regards to uh, this chat uh, and uh, amongst our hosts as well, too. So I, I really want to hear from you. Like, what do you what do you like about Minute Maid? What do you think it brings that makes it special? What are you looking forward to for Minute Maid this year? Do I start then? Um, okay, so I think um, every time that there's like a championship event, um, there's improvements. So, okay, let, the first year, maybe there were some stuff that had to be improved, but I, I personally did some improvement last year. And like, okay, um, last year there was a little bit of a AV issue, I think, on uh, Minute Maid. But aside from that, it was great. And I think they overall got the experience way better last year than the first year. And I think they are going to take all the feedback from last year and just going to do it a great event. Yeah. So uh, my experience with Minute Maid has uh, been 100% negative. Because um, I mean, I, lo <laughs> I love waiting outside 90 degree weather for three hours to get in to uh, robots as much as the next guy but the rest of my team didn't so we got to go back to the hotel to watch it where uh i think we would have been better off standing in the 90 degrees um because the first you know first year 2017 uh there was something where it was like 34 camera angle changes in the middle of a match and it's like i don't want to actually watch the match anyways so av's really hitting it there um and then you know last year there was the speeches were too long. Drunk Dean can't say more about that. Um, but you know, the finals. Auton started with a really good view of a podium stand, as shown, um, and that that's not really what I'm looking to watch in a match. Um, I want to see 254 hit their four cubato. How much money uh, was put into that microphone shot right there? I mean, it's a great <laughs> shot of a microphone, but yeah, I mean, it made that, a great gif after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, you know, last year during the matches, you know, uh, 254 got a cube stuck in him. How'd that happen? We don't know because there was a different camera angle. 2910 tipped over. How'd that happen? We don't know. There was a different camera angle at the time. Um, they just very, they very miss, much missed the mark and don't understand what us, what the FRC viewers are looking for in a match because they're going for the production value of, hey, camera change, camera change, camera change. Oh, look, there's stuff going on over there. And it really makes it so we can't actually tell what's going on in the match, which uh, there's such really... an easy solution, though. Show this camera the entire time on a different stream, right? Yeah. Is offer two streams. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that solve all the problems? So if you want people who want, you know, the fancy production people, I mean, if you want to want to go on the front page of twitch show that right people who have no clue what first is are going to benefit more from having those production changes and those camera angle changes but you know people who are in tune with what first is and want to know more prefer something like this or even more cameras right uh so like i, I totally get it i get the production part like that right because for people who have no clue what's going on just showing them a full field view like this is not going to be the right way to go for something like that. You, you can't, you won't convey the messaging that you want to switching cameras, doing different shots, doing a full production makes sense. But what I'm really sick of is first, like, it seems like they don't want to cater to people who like are in first already. It's always about growth mm -hmm. and new people and that sort of thing. Why don't you take care of the people who are in the program in the first place for something like, like that? Shouldn't that be your priority? Yeah, and on that, Tyler, I think you can you can cater to both. Like I think, yeah. you know, for all the you know complaints that we've seen a few people do about the ESPN three coverage that we had in Michigan State oh, sure. champs, right? Yeah, I thought that that short of some Vex Worlds productions that I've seen, that was probably the best robot cam robot production that I've ever seen. You know, it, it was they. It was they went deep enough that the diehards could understand it. Like I was there with another diehard and we were watching, you know, Michigan State champs and we were having a good time doing it. And, you know, and people who weren't aren't necessarily in the tent could still understand it. And they had good camera shots. You could see everything that was going on. The score made sense. 
they explained anything that would have been like uh, some stupid eccentricity that FRC people would know, but someone outside the tent wouldn't. Uh, so I think I think you can do it. Um, I just think it, there, there just needs to be some attention and focus into it. And uh, like they did with Michigan State champs. And I think, you know, it, it's, you know, at least for Detroit, they're right next door. You could <laughs> call them up and, <laughs> you know, do exactly the same thing there at Worlds and it'd be super awesome. But I think at um, Detroit they improved yeah. though, right? Uh, but they just, do. Yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to hope yeah. that happens here. Uh, the one last thing, and then we'll then we'll move on. Lino, uh, one thing I want to ask you, and maybe just a counterpoint for for Minute One. Uh, my so I went to Minute Maid Park for the first time last year. I actually thought my experience getting into the venue was was actually fine. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, in regards to people waited a lot longer uh, or waited as long as they did in 2017. Uh, but what I want to ask you about it is is the view at Minute Maid Park versus Ford Field, where yeah, it's a distance away, but at least you're getting a kind of a direct on view i mean you can't even see what's going on uh on the field like i don't know where you sat but were you able to actually like identify what was going on on the field without looking at the screen okay so um on that actually i've only gone to st louis once and the time i was on st louis i was all the way um on a corner oh. so i could basically not see anything of einstein so in my experience the best views I've had them on Minute Maid Park. And maybe um, that's why I'm really pro and stuff. I, I haven't seen Detroit. I haven't seen the other championship events if you want to see like that on a nice view. So that's fair. Uh, yeah, maybe that's why I, I don't complain that much uh, aside from other people. But like, I think it's fine. I think um, they're really trying to give them their best experience about the cameras. Uh, I actually, when I find out, I'm really used to those cameras angles because that's the only thing we have in Mexico. And like, <laughs> I, I guess that I'm just really used to watching first like that. So it's not a big problem for me. We need your help to keep fun loud, live and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.